finished the exhaust ports and we're going to remove the valve springs today and do a little bit of valve gapping valve whatever compounding what the hell is it called Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. Welcome to Life with Bilson. Today on the Bilson Show, I'm going to take off a few valve springs so I can lock my valve skis. Have an eye down here and get one off for you. So I just picked up this tool from the good old Princess Auto I did. So you just gotta make sure, you know, it's got the right angle to dangle and uh, you got the right doodad and the whatnots. But it's, it works pretty easy. Just, Squeeze down on the old cylinder valve and you give her a squeeze job and she pops her up. So then you can just take off, actually this one here, we need a little bit more we do. So if you need a little bit more, just turn her in a couple turns and Bob's your uncle. There we go, Jim. So now you can just take the keepers out, like so, hey, there's one. And sometimes you just gotta twist it a little bit, rock it around a little bit and she'll come out, she will. There we go, there's two. You see that? Nothing to her, Captain. So then of course you just release and there you go. Now they do have tools with having the heads on and you gotta pressure them up with some air. This is how I do it because the tool's cheap. But we're gonna lap all these valves we are once we get this apart with some lapping compound. Thanks a lot, Rob, for that. Appreciate it. Good old card quest there in Petroli, Ontario. Go see him. Why would you tell him Dirty Old Bill sent you? We got that and we got this. From Dirty Old Rob. He's not really dirty, but we got a Rob we did. Take all these apart, put the springs where they belong, even though I'm not gonna reuse these, but I wanna keep the keepers and this, and that, and the other things all in order I do. So let's get these friggin' springs all off. And then we'll go from there. Captain, here, let me get a, let me get you. Let me grab a brought to you by Snap-on flashlight wireless charge. There you go. So now you can really see what's going on. And so can I. So we'll undo this one and we'll drop that spring off. Oh, decent. Just rolling along we are. As you see at the beginning of the video there, I finished supporting on this head, so that's done. So we're making good progress. If only the freaking rest of the parts would come in. You'd be making even better progress. But hey, it is what it is, it is. Oh, Jesus. Oh God, that's a good one. Oh, that's a tidy. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the heck is really going on? There she goes. It's all when you hold your tongue. Moving on down the line. You know what it is? I'm just getting weaker as we go down the line. Friggin' right I am. What else is new? We're almost there, Jim. Probably should have took these off before we started porting. But it is what it is, it is. Friggin' right it is. Oh, they gotta turn this towards me a little bit, I think. She's designed to pull that way, this way, and the other way. Sometimes the other way. Sometimes this way. There it is. One more and we got the springs off. Works a lot better when you pull, not push. Friggin' right it does. Probably can't see deck all, but hey, let's take my word for it. Don't forget to subscribe and like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like uh, removing the valve springs with dirty old bills of. All right, there we go. So those are off. So let's flip this sucker over and take a look at the first valve. And we'll see how bad a shape she's in. She's mint. Do you believe me? I already had that one out. Friggin' right I did. Sorry about that. I even started lapping that one. This one I haven't had out though. And she looks pretty damn good. She definitely needs a little lap sealant. Looking at her, it doesn't look like it had any leaks. Let's move on down the line. Uh, no leaks? Well, maybe. Maybe. They won't when I'm done though. Oh, that one looks really good. Holy. Oh, dick. Yeah, they definitely need a lappage. I'll show you how we do that. I'll show you how I do that. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. That one definitely had a leak. Or something that hold it open a little bit. Oh, frig. I'm glad we took that one off. I'm glad we're taking all these off, to be honest with you. Ain't there shit all over it, Captain. That might be just from having the valve open when it was around with it, too. Sure is. Try not to get near the, the edge when you wire wheel the crap off of them. Too late. Ooh. The intake valves look really good. The exhaust valves, of course, dirty. 
As you can see, I'm just buffing them up slightly. I'm not going crazy, just taking the shit off. There we go. And I'll tell you one thing, those are friggin' tight. Like, look at, no movement at all in the guides. Very little, just a tad, hey? Let's get into lapping this thing, and I'll show you what's really going on. So, I'm gonna use these to hold the heads up a little bit, so we can get down the lappage. There we go, perfect. So, stick a suction on there, like this. You watching? Probably not. Pull the valve out. Take a little bit of the lapping compound. Just a little, hey, not much. And just dab it on around the valve. All the way around, Captain. I did watch a video on this, just so you know. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a professional, by all means. Put some on the valve like that. Stick the valve in. Now I was told, you do this. Hear it grinding? Watch, listen to it smooth down. Listen. Hear it getting smoother? Hear that? When it does that, you go for a few more seconds and then you lift and you move it around and it lets it back in and see so you start over again. So you just keep going until it smooths down again. Decent, you lift. Oh, oh careful. Lost my suction. Oh, just back and forward, eh? Just grab a hold of it and give it a little. You hear that? Oh, man. This is better than sex. Lapping valves. There we go. I'm not really sure how many times to do it. Leave your comments down below if you know. Because I don't know dick. I'm having fun doing it though. Satisfying lapping the old valves it is. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's give them a wipe off and see what it looks like. Why wouldn't we? Oh, careful. Frig. Keepers all over the place. Now he's told that you make sure you get all this out of the head because it won't like your engine too much. Oh, look at that. Boys. Girls, peoples. Oh, yeah, we friggin' did. Oh, decent. Let me know in the comments below because I'm not gonna be done this before this video is out. But let me know how long you lap your valves for and how many times you go over it again and again. Because I like to hear everybody's way they do it. Holy shit, that light's brighter than dicks, boys. Girls, peoples. And I'm gonna do another one too. Set some right here. Let's get another one to do her. Can you see? Probably not, because I can't. It's blinding me. Blinded by the light. There we go. Dad, yeah. Can you drive Cecilia home when you want to walk? Well, she can walk, can't she? Actually, no, we'll drive her because I'm going to go to Burger King. Do you want chicken nuggets from Burger King? Yeah. All right, give me a second. I'll drive her home. Oh, decent. Oh, careful. Oh, that's not sticking too good. What's really going on? My valve's dirty. I got a dirty valve. Nothing like a dirty valve. Oh man, that's satisfying. Oh wait. We gotta get this one done and then obviously I'm gonna take my daughter to Burger King. Hey, why wouldn't I? Okay, this is ridiculous. I don't want to stop sticking. Because normally the valves are nice and clean when you're doing this. Might have to clean the valves off a little better for the next go. Actually, I can do it right now. Let's clean this valve off a little bit. Carol! Yeah, let's try that. I'm just gonna do it three times. Ooh, that's hard on the old friggin' wristies. There we go. So we'll take it off and we'll have a gander at her. Oh God, that cup sticks good now. It just needs to be cleaned up once in a while. All right, so let's get this cleaned off real good. We'll have a gander at her. Look at it, look at it. Wow. So it looks like four times is a charm on the rub and the lappage. So there you go. She looks mint. There you go, oh my God. What have we done? This is beautiful. All right, so there's done, two done. And now we're gonna carry on right after dinner. So I'm gonna take Mel and her friend home and then I'm gonna go uh, grab some dinner. So we'll come back and I'll uh, finish off this, whatever the hell it was called, valve grinding. Valve grinding, freaking right valve grinding. Well, we had dinner, back at her, what we were doing? Oh yeah, lapping valves. You give them a little lap job. Why wouldn't you? I like doing this, this is fun. Leave a comment down below if you like lapping valves. Oh, decent.
Hmm. You're getting quiet? How is that not enjoyable? Oh, yeah. You watching? Holy, that gets hard on the friggin' arms. Beauty. Let's take a gander at her. Ooh-ee, eh? Ooh-ee. That might need a little bit more. The idea is to get all that shit right there off the valve. So let's give it another go. It probably doesn't matter if you get it all off, but I'm picky. So I say let's get her all off. I'm not giving it much pressure at all. I'm just kind of walking the stick down. There we go. Let's check that. That looks better. Probably do with some more, but we'll come back to it. We're just going to go back and forward, we are. We'll just go all the way along, lap some valvage, and move on to the next. Pretty freaking neat how they make these little valves, isn't it? I've never seen it done before, but you guys should tell me how. Because you guys know everything. That's why I have you here on my channel. Hey. <laughs> That's why you're here, aren't you? To tell me how it works and what happens and how everything goes. Listen to that one. That sounds decent. Oh, yeah, we did. These ones aren't going to need too much because they're in pretty good shape there. The intake valves are nice. It's just the exhausts are a little dirty. I'm going to stick with four times because I don't want to overlap them. I don't know if that's possible or not. But I'm going to say it is. Oh, that's beauty. Oh, yeah. I think the valves did have a little bit of a leak. Not much, so that one looks beautiful. That one turned out wonderful. This is just turning out lovely. Let me know if you think it's turned out lovely. Do you want to lap a valve? I'll show you how to lap a valve. You put it in like this. How long is it going to take you? Watch. This is lapping a valve. You put the suction cup on there, and you go. Watch. It'll get quieter. This is like sandpaper, it's breaking down. So when it's done and it's quiet, you lift it up and you do it again. I'll come and do your lights in a minute here. Okay, just give me a sec. All right, take a gander. Not too bad. The exhaust valves are definitely the worst shape. The intake valves are clean. The exhaust valves are dirty, which is normal, I guess, because that's where the engine is pooping out what it didn't want. I don't know that. Next. Mel's all excited because I put LEDs in her room, okay? She's been wanting them for a while, she has. So remember, whenever you're doing these LS put-togethers, take your heads off once a year and lap the valves, Jim. What do you think? Do you believe me? I'll tell you one thing, this is coming back to me. I used to do this stuff all the time when I was younger. I just wanted to take a minute here to thank one of my fans, Steve. Thanks, Steve, for sending me the Comcast friggin' Google doodad. It's awesome, but it's broke by. Sounds like it's in pieces. Frig, what happened? But it's not. Tic Tacs, eh? The dirty old bells that loves his Tic Tacs. And they're all a big size too. Friggin' right. Thanks bud for sending them to me, I appreciate it. Love your support, man. I really appreciate that. So that's from Flip66P, AKA Steve. Hi, you mother, bud. Appreciate it. You remember you like, he says, I remember you were looking for orange Tic Tacs. In a previous video, my wife Diane found these and we hope they are what you are looking for. We love your videos as they keep us entertained. Good luck with the six liter build. Cannot wait to see what you do with it. Thanks for the videos and keep up the great work. Thanks a lot, Steve and Diane. Hey, your wife got them, so I better thank Diane too. Freaking right better. But I just want to take a quick little break there and a little, little doodad and open up some fan mail. So thanks a lot. I love the Tic Tacs big time. And I'll eat them on the way to work and when my breath stinks and stuff like that. So that was nice. How do you like the Comcast, by the way? Freaking right, you better like it. It's Google. Dirty old Google. Dirty old Google. Anyways, back to lap. We're almost there. Captain, we got one left. Ah, oh, ah, oh. ah, nothing like lapping a valve. This is gonna be a long video. Well, maybe not. I do a lot of editing, so it's gonna be short for you, but long for me. 
two hours to edit it, so you guys can watch 10 minutes. Oh, careful. Uh-oh. There it goes. Oh! Don't be dropping my valves. They're junk if you drop them. I don't think they are, but I say they are. So there we go. Oh, I love that sound. Man, I wish my camshaft would have come in today. That would have been nice to get the cam and lifters back in. Put some slick them on there. And Bob's your uncle. I'm hoping to have this engine back together in probably a week. And then I can start pulling the van apart. That's what I'm looking forward to. I want to get the engine out of the van before it's too damn cold outside. And that way, actually I don't know why I'm in a rush. Valves are lapped. I'm going to do a few more of them again. But we're pretty good there. I think we got them, Captain. God, these heads are light. I'm not used to working with aluminum heads. All the heads I used to work with are cast. I was going to port the intake runners, but I think I'm going to leave them alone. I'm not too sure where to port. That goes down. If I port there, I'll be through. So I can't even port there. I'm nervous. I know I had lots of material in the bottom half, so we're good there, but not so much in the top half. So I think I'm just going to leave that alone. Valve seals. This engine didn't burn any oil when I fired up before we pulled it out. I did run this engine before I bought it. And I did do a burnout with it too on the dirt. That's why I know that I don't need to go too far into it because she was sitting there for months at the junkyard. We fired it up, didn't even burn a tad of oil or nothing. So I'm not getting involved too much with valve seals because they think they'll be fine. But other than that, everything looks good. Got to get all that shit out of there. So we're going to have to spray this with some brake clean. Clean that off. Other than that, the exhaust runners are nice now. They're friggin' so smooth and come straight out. And it bop, bop, bop. Hey, bop, bop, bop. Friggin' right, bop, bop, bop. Full bore. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little video of taking the springs off, finishing, showing you the rest of the uh, porting on the exhaust valves. Lapping some valves. So that's what I did tonight. It's Friday. So that's my Friday night. How exciting is that, eh? Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. We'll have more coming for you here shortly. Just so you know, I got some more gaskets in today. I got the oil pan gasket today. I got the rear, uh, the rear main seal. I got the front seal. And I got the valve cover gaskets. This head gasket I'm probably not going to be using, just so you know. It's too thick. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. And until next time, you know what to do for now.